Hello everyone, my name is Musa from Daytona Japan and today I'm going to install this Veluna 80 on this motorcycle. So the first step is to uh, remove your ground uh, cable from your battery. This is the first step uh, to protect your battery and your motorcycle from short circuits. After this, uh, we're going to remove our OEM uh, gauge. We already removed it. Uh, so this process is different for each bike, so please refer to our owner's manual for this process. And uh, after that, we're going to install Velona on this motorcycle. And uh, today I'm going to use V-shaped bracket that comes in the box. And I'm going to use this special bracket. So each motorcycle is different, so you can use handlebar clamps for this process. And other types of clamps. Uh, so let's go install this uh, here. Right, my cables are in. Okay. Alright, so we've fixed Velana on this motorcycle and next step is, is to go to wiring. So wiring is different for each motorcycle, so please refer to your owner's manual for wiring. Today we labeled our cables uh, to not to take your time. Right, so let's wire the cables. Right, the wiring is complete right now. So let's turn on the motorcycle to check if Velon is working or not. As you can see, Velona is working great and after this point, we need to connect our speedometer and the RPM to our Velona. So on this motorcycle, we have mechanical uh, speedometer. So this, is, uh, this was from the OEM speedometer. So this is mechanical, but Velona is digital, so we need a, a converter for this. This is another Daytona product. Uh, this converts mechanical uh, speed to digital. So all you need to do is to uh, connect these. So this will help us convert these signals for Velona. So this product is different for each motorcycle. So if you're not sure, please check with your dealer. All right, we connected it. So speed signal is all right right now. And the next step is to connect our uh, RPM signal. For RPM signal, there are many ways, but the best solution for this is to get it from the ignition coil. As you can see right now, here is the ignition coil. And uh, we're going to remove our ignition uh, coil cable and connect uh, Velona signal here. After that, we're going uh, we're gonna to use this coupler. You can use a similar coupler for this a connector for this process. And right now, this uh, ignition coil is connected to our Velona for our PM signals. So right now, the wiring is done. Let's check one more time. Everything is working great. So after this point, Velona is functional, but for Velona to be 100% functional, we need to calibrate our speed and our PM. This process is very uh, important. And uh, for the next part of the video, we are going to go over how to calibrate the speed and the RPM. So right now we install Velona and for the next part, we, I will show you how to calibrate your Velona. 
Alright everyone, for the second part of our video, we are going to calibrate the Velona we just installed. Uh, let's go and check our Velona. To go into the setting mode, you need to push two buttons behind your Velona at the same time. Alright, right now we are in this uh, setting mode. SP means speed. So we are going to calibrate our speed. So we have three different speed calibration options. Uh, calibration automatic, uh, calibration speed adjusting, calibration manual. So first let's go check the automatic calibration. So when you go into this mode it will say go and when you when it says go uh, you have to you need to push the button once more time and ride your motorcycle exactly for one kilometer. As you ride your motorcycle, Velona will get the signal from your speed sensor. So right now, as you can see, it displays a number. Uh, this number will increase as you ride your motorcycle. And ex when you exactly ride your motorcycle for one kilometer, all you need to do is just accept that number and uh, go back to the main menu. And that's all. This is one of the options. And let's go check the other options. Let's go into the setting mode. Speed. And the second speed adjusting, op uh, speed calibration option, speed adjusting. When you go into this mode, it will say go, exactly like the previous uh, calibration method. But this time, you need to ride your motorcycle exactly at 40 kilometers. How can you do this? The first way to do that is to use your OEM gauge speedometer. You can use your OEM speedometer to run, to ride your motorcycle exactly at 40 kilometers per hour. Once Velona also gets to the 40 kilometers and uh, you're gonna push this uh, set button again and then it will calibrate your um, Velona accordingly. If, if you cannot use your OEM gauge or speedometer, you can uh, ask help from a friend and you can run together exactly at the 40 uh, kilometers per hour. And then when Velona displays the correct speed, all you need to do is just to accept that number and push the set setting button. This is the second option. And let's go check the third option. Third setting option is the manual mode. When you go into this manual mode, as you can see there is a number. We need to calculate this number. How can we do that? So to do that, we're, we need to go back to the automatic mode speed calibration automatic and go it says go push to set and at this point we need to turn our front wheel uh, where the speed sensor is 10 times we need to turn our uh, wheel 10 times. To do that you need you may use a mark like marker like this. I'm using a tape to mark the beginning of my wheel and I'm going to turn my wheel exactly 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After doing this, uh, Velona will display a number here. This is our uh, number for the pulses that we got from our speed sensor. Okay, so please note this number. For us, it's 29. And then, 
let's go back. And while we are doing that, we need to uh, measure the circumference of our tire. So we are going to use this uh, measuring tape to measure our tire's circumference. I'm going to use a tape to fix the tape, measuring tape. All right. And let's measure. So my tire is exactly 210 centimeters. All right. Using the, that number and the number that Bellona gave you for the speed signal, you need to calculate the number you need to enter on your Velona. To calculate that number, we have a calculator on our website. Uh, we will give you the link to that calculator and you can multiply, uh, you can use that cal calculator to uh, get the number that you need to put into Velona. So for example, after getting the number from the calculator, you need to go to the set speed settings and uh, manual calibration. And here, you need to put that number in, just like this. This number is different for each bike, so please use uh, Daytona's calculator. Please uh, measure your front wheel's circumference exactly, and do not uh, forget to turn your wheel 10 times exactly and get the number from your Elena, the signal uh, pulse number. After that, go to the calculator, put that, put those numbers in and it will give you the number you need to put into your Velona. Alright everyone, so now let's go into RPM uh, options. To go into the RPM options, let's go into the setting mode by pushing the two buttons behind uh, the Velona. We are in the setting mode, let's go to the RP. RP means RPM settings. Let's go inside the RPM settings. PPR, you want to go inside this menu to uh, choose one of the options. Let's go inside. So we have, here we have four different options. So first option is one pulse of ignition equals to one, rot one rotation of the engine. Another setting is one pulse equals to two rotation of the engine. And the next option means two pulses of the ignition equals to one rotation of the engine. And this is a little special. This means 30 pulses of the ignition signal means one rotation. So you need to choose one of these settings, one of these four settings according to your motorcycle. Let's choose one and it will go back to the main screen. So this is the RPM settings. All right, let's go back to the RPM setting one more time. RPM. And it says shift. This setting is for the shift warning. Let's go inside. So right now, the default number for shift warning is 3000 RPMs. But you, need, you can change this number to according to your motorcycle. Just like this. And uh, you need to put this number according to your motorcycle. If you're not sure about this number, you can consult, uh, consult to an experienced dealer. Let's go back to the main settings. So these are the uh, RPM settings and the shift warning uh, setting. Let's go back to the setting one more time. The last setting is the unit. Unit is choosing between kilometers per hour and miles per hour. Let's go inside. As you can see right now, it's blinking kilometers per hour, but you can also choose miles per hour as well. You can choose according to your country. And then mode and go back to the main settings, main menu. So that's all for Velona calibration today. As I said before, installing Velona is not enough to display correct numbers on your Velona. Calibration is needed. So please do not forget to calibrate your Velona and please check the first part of our video about installing Velona and uh, doing wiring. 
And if you have any uh, questions, consult your dealer and uh, please refer to your uh, instruction manual. That's all for today's Velona installation and calibration. Thanks for watching.